Control Space Designer 5.15 includes several new features that improve reliability and control for systems that use PowerShare X amplifiers. Let's take a quick look starting with the PowerShare X proxy. PowerShare X amplifier parameters can now be registered to all functions within the Control Space Designer control library. This means you can now control PowerShare X amplifiers using parameter sets, parameter set lists, timers, groups, a processor's GPI, serial commands, and control center controllers. This is all possible with the PowerShare X proxy, which can run on a Control Space EX or ESP processor. An EX processor supports up to 12 PowerShare X proxies, or 12 amplifiers, while an ESP processor can support 10 PowerShare X proxies. Select your system's RTC and then open the Tools menu and select the new option CPU Resources to calculate if you're past the device's limit of supported PowerShare X proxies. For larger systems, a PC hosting the Control Space Designer project file can support up to 40 PowerShare X proxies. Simply go to the new Tools menu option, Run PowerShare X Proxy on PC to enable this functionality. Please note when using this option, an EX or ESP processor is not required. However, the Control Space Designer project file must be online when using the Run PowerShare X Proxy on PC feature. Now let's take a look at how the PowerShare X Proxy can be used. Assign any signal processing block in a PowerShare X amplifier to a parameter set which can then be recalled using an external trigger such as an EX or ESP's GPI or even recalled with a timer. These same parameter sets may also be assigned to parameter set lists. Group the level and mute output controls across multiple PowerShare X amplifiers and even power match amplifiers to control them with a single fader and mute that can easily be assigned to a control center like the CC16, CC64, or a CC1, 2, or 3 digital controller. Make individual level and mute assignments to those same controllers or register them to general purpose inputs for use with potentiometers or push buttons. PowerShare X amplifiers can even be controlled via serial commands sent over Ethernet using a connection to the RTC with a specified port number. Locate the Serial Communications section in the Amplifier's Properties panel to find the RTC's IP address and the amplifier's port number, and please refer to the Serial Control Protocol 5.15 guide for more info on supported commands. Control Space remote users can also make use of the PowerShare X proxy feature. Level, mute, and metering for PowerShare X amplifiers, in addition to a new health and monitoring panel, will be available in Control Space Remote 3.1. That rounds out our look at the PowerShare X proxy. Improvements have been made to the PowerShare X impedance measurement function. This includes an updated user interface and workflow, yielding more reliable results. Check out any of the PowerShare X product pages for a complete video tutorial on how to use it. That's it for this look at Control Space Designer 5.15. Update your software today to take advantage of the powerful new features and improvements.